first put on a heel and lace pad. Then I put on pre wrap. two pieces that are just uh, secure straps. Pull your toes back. Hold it up there. <laughs> Wait, what are you getting ready for? Um, just for a video. For a video? Yeah. And then we do three stirrups, all positioning them from different angles, or from different angles. And then we do just uh, like strips going down the ankle, overlapping them halfway.
Once you have regained almost all your range of motion, your athletic trainer will have you start working on resistance. This is going to build up your strength and muscle. These exercises are the same as the range of motion ones, just using a third band. That's what gives you the resistance you need to gain your strength and muscle back. Today we're here interviewing Jacqueline Tanner. She's a professor here at Grand Valley. Uh, first, can you tell us your background as far as uh, schooling and your jobs that you've held? Um, I got my associates at Muskegon Community College. I uh, went on to Grand Valley to get my bachelor's in athletic training. I did master, or, sorry, did major in athletic training. Um, as for work, right out of college, I was hired at Mercy Health Partners in Muskegon. I worked there full time. I'm the rehab manager at the Whitehall Clinic. I perform and work with rehabilitation of athletes and mostly <coughs> orthopedic um, injuries, a few stroke victims, a um, couple days a week there. I also do a clinical outreach to local high schools in the Muskegon area, performing sports medicine, game coverage, practice coverage. Um, in addition to teaching here at Grand Valley as an adjunct faculty member. Okay. Why did you go into athletic training? It's exciting. Um, you get to see a lot of different things. It's fun to follow kids. Um, I chose high school because of the connection you make with your athletes. All four years you get to see them grow and mature. Uh, you deal with a lot of injuries. Um, and in addition to that connection, you help a lot of people in many different ways. The rehabilitation side is a little, a little more settling. It's not as exciting. It's more routine, but it's still nice to see that progression and to see people go from their injuries or their disease that they have been dealing with and helping them get better and be able to function on their own and do their own daily activities. Okay. Uh, what's a typical day like if there is such thing? You as a typical cannot. Day? There is no typical day. You never know what you're going to run into, depending on the situation. If I am at the high school, it's completely going to be by chance. You might see ACLs. You might see broken bones. You might have absolutely nothing to do and just get to watch a game or practice. There is no typical day. Um, I run around. I am covering football. I'm at basketball. I'm at volleyball and you go where you're needed. Um, when you're dealing with the clinic side of things, it's a little more routine. You know who you're gonna see on those days. You can kinda know what to expect. The only variations you're gonna really get there um, if people are having a bad day. And they might come in with a lot more pain in that day and they can't handle their therapy, so. Okay, um, what are some pros and cons of Pros, you're helping people. It's always fun to see people make it through their difficult times. Um, a lot of times you're the first line for medical attention for a lot of these kids, whether it's collegiate or even pros. They don't go to outside doctors. They stay within their team network of sports medicine, orthopedics, things like that. And you're the first line and you have to make decisions for people and you have to be on your toes for this, um, but you have to be willing to work the crazy hours and the extended hours and on the weekends when you're sitting at home and you think it's your day off and you get the random phone call that says, um, I don't know what I did, but uh, I think I broke my ankle. So there are the downsides to that, but if you're prepared for it and you're willing to work Friday nights at the football game or Saturdays at the football game and you know that's what you're going to be at, there's really no cons to it. Okay, and lastly, what advice would you give any students going into athletic training? Um, be sympathetic, but don't get taken advantage of. If you're going into athletic training, you need to be able to connect with your athletes 
with your patients, with your colleagues, that you have to be able to talk to your coaches. Um, if you're working in a hospital setting, for instance, Mercy, you have 16 different athletic trainers. You use them as a resource. Um, but athletic training can get tedious. You know, you get the phone calls on the weekend that's, oh, my finger hurts. Okay, Here, what do you want me to do? Okay, you have to be able to be strong in a sense that you cannot fix everything. You're not going to make everyone 100%, 100% of the time. You have to know your strengths and your weaknesses.